What is up everybody, Angle Roco Gaming here, and we are back with another episode of Real Zaragoza Career Mode. You guys didn't check out the last episode, you guys go ahead, check it out. You guys missed a lot. I mean, what happened really last episode, it was really nothing, um, how do I say this? We got into La Liga for the first time of our careers, and uh, that's something new, uh, so apologies on that, but like my controller just died. As you guys can see, uh, a couple things, they updated the faces, so Clemente over here, he got a new face, everybody here has a new face basically, and this is kind of cool, I mean, in my book, it is really cool, you got a bunch of these players that I have used in this career mode, and they have new faces, so it's going to be interesting, and um, yeah, we're going to get into this, Um, now in today's episode, I will be um playing Wales in today's episode, uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and play Real Madrid in this episode as well. So we're gonna play. I mean, we're gonna play Germany in today's episode. We're gonna play Real Madrid, and I'm assuming. Yeah, I want to go ahead and play Valencia, and then we can have next episode. We have. Um, I have a kind of a kind of plan, but next episode we will probably play Greece and Barca. And uh, maybe we'll go ahead and simulate this month of November or probably play one of these international games because the international games are kind of important for us to qualify for the Euros. Uh, that's what I want to do. And um, in December, I think we're going to simulate the whole December. And in January is where we're going to go ahead and come back into this. Either ways, we have um, a couple stuff to go through before we start. Uh, we're going to go ahead and play this first game, but I do want to go ahead uh pedro poro i don't even know why it's not even letting me show you guys but th this is a player a potential player we can go ahead and sign pedro poro later on into the series i wouldn't be mad on that we also have rabiot uh someone we could have later on into the series as well uh these are two other players i am debating on probably signing you guys let me know in the comments should we go ahead and try to sign van der van der Gerg, garg or Grin 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 um and you know we have francis who left us during this season uh we have a good squad honestly decent squad this but we're gonna go ahead again to this we're playing well um, germany we're using wales for this one actually so it's gonna be a tough one let's get to it germany wales let's get to it all right guys here we go it is germany taking on wales and uh, now, I have actually started the debate, should, I don't think we should have ever taken this Wales job, honestly, because I feel like this makes the series a little bit more longer. What do you guys think, though? I don't know, but I want to go ahead and try to wrap up season two by, uh, we're going to try to get a lot of episodes of the, you know, the Real Zero Goes a Career Mode, so that's what I'm trying to do right now. So we're going to try to get those episodes done for you guys. Uh, we have just finish season one of the on the uh the the dutch player career mode so i want to like my goal is to at least finish one season of each career mode so we can like you know it doesn't get repetitive so i want to go ahead and try to get uh real zero goals are done after that we'll continue on with the dutch player career mode once we do that uh we'll go back you know we'll kind of go back and forth -ish. uh but yeah we have this game against wales and uh looks like it's a difficult James, Daniel James, <laughs> oh my goodness, the Germany side has kind of screwed ourselves over with that one, Daniel James gets the goal for Wales, the Welsh team, they're getting it, goal, first goal of the season honestly uh not really of the season but the first other than the euros uh euro qualification now i believe in the next episode we're gonna play germany again or maybe not we'll probably play denmark we'll see uh next episode we'll probably play greece we'll see how that result goes but we need to get a w here so i can like go ahead and uh try to continue on if like like i said if we crush germany here then hey bro it's two goals already by the first half <laughs> and it's two goals that's all i have to say it's two goals already we get a third goal i'm simulating that's how we usually do it two, two goals already and that is just bad defending right there for war germany we get the second goal and it is two nil now Sonic. 
Davies. Mungo. Sane. Ooh, nice goal from Sare. Leroy Sane gets the first goal for Germany. They take the goal, but we still have the lead. Wales still have the lead. That's all we know. Wales still have the lead. So. What do we expect? What do we expect? But all I need to say is Wales do have the lead still. So if we keep this lead. Yeah. Alright, it is 1-2 right now. We need to try to get this. Alright, so we're winning 2-1 against Germany right now. I mean, that's fine. Uh, any substitutes? I don't think so. Maybe we'll, we'll probably put in Wilson right now. Is because Wilson is kind of a higher overall. I don't know why. Oh my god. Why don't I have... Okay, I gotta update this, really. Oh man, I do really gotta update this. Maybe we gotta put Rodon in. I do think Rodon would probably like be a little bit of a realistic transfer later on into the summer. What do you guys think? I don't know. Rodon will probably be an interesting transfer. Roberts over here. Okay. Uh, we do have a right winger back. Yeah, I gotta really fix this squad really because this is like a little bit of a, like not really a, like the goalkeeper. We literally have a better goalkeeper in the bench. I gotta really update it. It's two one though. Let's try to continue on. Try to keep this lead up, and let's hope we can. They don't score anymore. That's all we need here for the long games. Passes it right there. And who's that? Davies. Davies. Davis. Crosses it. And wait a minute. Wilson gets the goal. Wilson gets the goal. Wilson gets the goal. It is 3-1 now. It is still risky to simulate, but I'm going to probably play the whole game. But Wilson gets the lead. Well, the, way, the Welsh is literally making it a 3-1. Uh, Wales. What a what a goal actually! I mean, good good cross, good intuition. You know, Wilson was already there. Is that Harry Wilson? I don't know what's his full name, but Wilson, super sub right there. What a what a goal! That is the first game for the first goal. And Gareth Bale is gonna kick it last minute. We're going to go ahead and try this, Gareth Bale. Nice save from Ter Stegen, but Bale could have had that in. It would have been nice. And that is game, guys. Hey, 3-1 result. We'll take it. We'll take the win against Germany. This helps us in the Euro. So, like, I believe we're, like, top three at least. We need to get second place or first. It doesn't matter. Uh, we have Greece up next. So, that's a game I'm debating on simulating. The pens. Uh, I probably will make a conclusion by next time. But Daniel James player of the game. Let's go ahead and get to some simulating, guys. And we'll get into that next. All right, guys, so we're getting into the next game. We have the Jump Scout report back. Okay, so it doesn't look like I see anybody I like at the moment. Really, it, like, they have good potential, but, like, the, or the rating is still a problem. If they don't have a good rating, then that's probably a problem. I'm going to sign Mark, that guy, 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 Dylan. We'll sign Dylan, but, like, it just doesn't look nice, all right? doesn't look good in, 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 the, in the Welsh right now. Uh, we're simulating this day, but we do have our next game. In our next game, it is actually going to be an interesting one. And we have to try to win this one because, like, I need to, like, we need to get these wins, you know. We need to get these Ws and, uh, I believe, something like that. We're going to send our Aton. We're going to try to sell them, but we need to get these wins. And I think Real, well, Real Madrid is one game I need to try to beat. I want to beat one of the, at least, like, the La Liga, not La Liga, one of the teams of La Liga that are, like, one of the top. Now, we did face Atletico Madrid to kick off the season. We ended up with a draw, though, right? We did beat Sevilla, so Sevilla's a good team. But Real Madrid will be a real, real record or real, real, like, a real shock, you know, because we can get a rematch. So, apparently, Real Zaragoza did reach, like, a final a couple years ago, but they ended up losing... And I think it would be so cool if we can get retribution. And that's what what the goal is going to be, guys. So that's going to be what we're going to... That's why I'm going to go ahead and play them up next. But right now, I am checking the players we just signed. 
uh, the balance. All right, so this Griffin's guy, he doesn't look really good, but maybe if I make him like a, into a center back or something like that, dude, he would probably work out. So we're going to see what happens if I make him a center back. Now, the next guy I see, it's this guy, Lloyd, and Lloyd does not look good. I don't, I'm sorry, I don't even try to, I'm not even going to try. Uh, it's with the position changes as well. Um, now, this guy, Rolands, doesn't look good as well. I mean, he's still 53. Now, this guy right here, Nathan Scale. Now, Nathan Scale might be the, you know, he could be a key player. So, maybe some training drills, and then we'll see how it goes for him. And then, yeah, because you usually get, like, the little, um, if they're 60 overall, you'll probably get something like, hey, they're a potential player or blah, blah, blah. That's what I want to, like, have at least, you know. This Broderick, <coughs> my bad. Sorry about that. This Broderick guy, uh, he seems really, really promising, okay? I could see him literally starting for Shunnin. Like, if we we sign him right now or this upcoming season, we would probably be, like, um, doing something good. But we have Real Madrid, and this is a game I need to win. It's going to be a tough one. Don't get me wrong. Real Madrid is going to be a tough one. I want to start this team now. We could start Nakai. Uh, Nakai is a new player we signed into this uh, season. I mean, we're using this new formation just for now, and maybe we'll like switch it up a little bit later. But yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and just keep it like that and see how it goes. And yeah, so we're going to go ahead and play this matchup. Real Madrid, Real Zaragoza, let's get to it. And there you go, Federico Gonzalez scored a hat-trick in the last game. So remember, a hat-trick would be fine, but... Remember, we need to get this one. It's in St. Bernabal, Real Madrid, my rivals in real life. Hey, I don't, I don't hate, no disrespect to Real Madrid, but we need to win this game. Now, Real Madrid and Real Madrid, they have their differences. You know, we have our differences. And I'm hoping we can go ahead and try to beat them, though. It is Real Zaragoza taking out Real Madrid. Oh my god, what is Benzema doing? Yo, it's so annoying with that, but Federico Gonzalez, Valverde, my bad, gets the goal, bro. It's so annoying with these type of goals, like, that. Yeah, but, hey, bro, respect on that goal, though. Like, look at that. Like, from outside that box, I don't even want to see it, though. Federico Gonzalez, Valverde, gets the goal. What the heck? I didn't even press the X button or anything like that. But, yeah. Federico Gonzalez, Federico Gonzalez. Wait, bro. If Gonzalez gets his revenge, bro, I'll take it. He literally, he literally just, it just took him. It just took him like, literally, as soon as Federico, the other Federico gets his revenge. Federico Valverde versus Federico Gonzalez, bro. Which is the best Federico out here, bro? It has to be Federico Gonzalez, bro. There is no way. After that, bro, he just like, nope, I'm going to get my goal back for my team. Let's get it. He gets his goal. And it's his fourth goal in four matches. So he got a hat trick in the last match. He got a, he gets a goal in this match. I mean, he got the hat trick against Sevilla. Remember that. If we get a draw with Real Madrid, it'll be a little bit disappointing, but not really that much in my book. But I mean, a tie wouldn't be mad. All right, I wouldn't be mad with the tie. Okay, like I said, I wouldn't be mad with the tie. We did get a tie with Atletico Madrid. Atletico is placing playing Barca. So, um, I do want to, I guess I got to put an Amador in here and I do want to probably put in Bermejo in, uh, maybe we'll take him out for Naraves or something like that. We could go ahead and put, Me we could take out Mendez as well, but I still think we could leave him out into like a little bit of a super sub or we have Vada as well. Vada isn't bad. Maybe Bermejo is out. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to just do this. Tommy Doyle, I haven't even used him. Like I said, I want I want to send him on a loan, or maybe he doesn't have a feature in this club, but it is 1-1 draw. Let's continue on with it. Go ahead. Bermejo. Bermejo is the only one right there. He's the only one. He's the only one. Gonzalez. Federico Gonzalez. He gets the goal. He gets the goal. Federico Gonzalez. Federico Gonzalez gets the goal. His third his fifth goal of the season and against Real Madrid Real Zaragoza get the lead oh my goodness I didn't even know I mean look at that that was a night hey yo 
Gonzalez shoots it in. I mean, he's a 71 overall for crying out loud, and this really, you know, it's really kind of him versus Azon for like the best striker on the team. But it is 1 1, it is 2 1. Let's take it, let's try to keep this draw, and no more goals, no more goals to lead them up. But yeah, 2 1. Okay, Bryce Mendes, Bryce Mendes, Bryce Mendes, Bryce Mendes, Bryce Mendes, Bryce Mendes. Oh, right, oh. Nico Gonzalez gets the third goal, and that probably ends the game against Real Madrid. Nico Gonzalez, he gets the goal. What a golasso. 3-1 now. It is what we like. I mean, bro, good cross right there. That's like something really, really amazing right there. We're going to take him out. We're going to put in Tommy Doyle. We might as well do that. Take him out. Put Tommy Doyle in. Give him some playing time. I mean, it's fine. It is 3-1. Let's continue on with this. Benzema. Hazard. Stunning. And guys, we end up with the three-one win. Another one. We did. We beat Germany with Wales like that, and now we beat Real Madrid. This is a big W in our career, on our managing career. We Real Madrid a big upset right here against Real Zaragoza. But there's still many, many more upsets to come. Up next, I think we have Real Madrid, but I think we have the, we're gonna spend another couple. I think the rest of the month, and then I think we'll take on the winter. Okay. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get to the next game. Up next, we have Real Betis up next, and like I said, we're going to, well, not like I said, we're going to switch stuff up. I mean, I'm going to give him a door, some playing time. I mean, he's upset. Uh, I think Bermejo is upset, so we'll start him over Mendez, and I think Nakai should get some playing time, and he, he hasn't really. Uh, I know this might give us a loss, but I don't expect big things for the first season either way, so we end up with the 1-1 draw. We'll take it. Let's get to the next game. All right, we're Alavas. Uh, we got all of us up next. We're going to just quick sim it. We'll just leave the team like that. And we end up with the result of a 0-1 loss. We lost. In the, they scored in the first minute. Wow. All right. Next team. Let's get to it. All right. We have Villarreal up next. We're going to quick sim this one. We end up with the result of a... We beat Villarreal 2-1. Wow. All right. Let's get to the next game against Valencia, I believe, which I think I'm going to be playing. So let's get to it. So we did receive a loan deal from Tommy Doyle. For Tommy Doyle, we have Valencia up next. And I decided we're just going to quick sim this one right here. We're going to end up with the result of a 2-2 draw. All right. Let's get to the next game. All right. We have uh, Greece up next. Should be an interesting one. All right. Um... You know, this could be a hard one. I don't know who to put in. Uh, just put it in this guy. Okay, we'll for sure put in that guy. Put this here. Is Rob's guy? Is Robert's guy? I don't know. It's not the move. You know, we'll just put Roberts there, and I think we'll go ahead. Oh no, we have David Brooks. Isn't a bad one. Isn't a bad one right there. All right, we're gonna end up with the result of a. 1-1 one, one draw. All right, I'll take it. Let's get to the next game. All right, we so Tommy Doyle will be leaving on a loan later on into the season. So, yeah, we have FC Barcelona. Now, it looks like, oh, Francis is struggling to fit out. Spend money in the first place, which is dipping many fans. So now it appear from their headlines. It's pretty obvious that goes out. We'll be happy to assist other players. Chanting, what a waste of money after France's recent performance. Wow, that is really, that is uh, honestly harsh for France's guys. Um, now I have been submitting a lot recently, and I think I'm gonna like end that sub later on. I think we're just gonna go ahead and uh, we're going to simulate up to uh maybe. I think I'm going to simulate up to Denmark, and then we'll probably play Denmark and Germany in the next episode or something like that. Yeah, I know. It's only like two games today's episode, but yeah. I wanted to play Barca, but maybe we'll play them later on to the season. 
We have them up next. I'm going to quick sim. It's no favoritism. I'm not going to play Real Madrid or Atletico um, um, later on. We lost, but I'm not going to play Atletico or Real later into the season. We'll play Barca when we play home. But, yeah, anyways, let's get to the next game. All right, we have Celta up next. And this is going to be a lineup. I don't know how it's going to really end up with. We're going to quick sim it. We end up with the result of a loss. Let's get to the next game. We have Athletic Bill Bell up next. Quick sim it. 2-2 two, two draw. Next game. Let's get to it. All right. We have uh, Ria, Rayo. Has better say Ria Zaragoza. We end up with the draw. Why are we drawing so much? All right. Up next, I believe you have Granada. Let's get to that one. We have Granada up next, and this is going to be the last game we're going to simulate and end up so here, and we end up with the win. All right, we finally won. All right. So, in this episode, we ended up beating uh, mostly every team. Well, losing. So, this episode, we're going to be playing, in the next episode, we're going to be playing two international games, all right, to kick it off. Honestly, it's going to be two interesting ones. Because Denmark, we have Denmark, of course, and Germany, and uh, we want to get wins off these ones because, like, Euros are important as well. I don't want to get sacked on the Wales job. That's why I want to play those. Now, in this episode, let's kind of recap. We got a win off of Madrid, Germany, Villarreal, um, and we got a win off Granada. So, next episode, I'm hoping we can get an increase in our wins. So, next episode, we'll play Denmark and Germany for sure. Uh, I'll simulate these two games right here, and I think we'll go ahead and probably play um, maybe Aleche or something like that. We'll probably play something in December, and uh, in January, we'll go ahead and do some transfers maybe and see what happens or something like that. We have the Euros, as you guys could see, but yeah, um, Leaf has also agreed to a loan. Now, I'm, I want more loan deals to happen. That's what I like to see. So... As you guys can see, Raton will be leaving this season for 1.2 mil. And Tommy Doyle will be leaving on a two-year loan later on into this. Like I said, to Doyle is good, but I just cannot be using him. I'm not really even using him. I'm hoping these guys can go on a loan too. Um, if they can go on a loan, then that'll be really good. If Christian Morientes gets that loan offer, then I'll be, you know, happy. Amador, no offers have been received for him. And Francis maybe was the best, you know, maybe was the best way, but like he just hasn't had good performances there. I get it. They, these two players, I hope maybe we could sign one of these late, later on. But yeah, all right, guys. Anyways, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and be a part of the Angry Nation. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Next episode will be probably tomorrow. Depends on how, if I record it or not. But we have um next episode. Yeah, next episode will probably be uh tomorrow at I don't know. I uh, probably uploaded my the um uh, my Dutch player career mode yesterday really late. I apologize. I forgot to make the thumbnail and everything. I was kind of busy at school too. But this should be up probably before when I did it. Anyways, doesn't matter. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye.